One of the things that connected for me with fly fishing is getting out into the woods, into the wild. You feel the current pulling on you. You hear the water rushing by. You hear the wind rustling through the trees. It's sort of an endless pursuit. There's so many things to learn. It really reminds me of the research I do where it's very technical and it's, you know, connected to biology. When I was growing up, I, I was always curious about how things worked. It really wasn't until I started learning about molecular biology and learning more about cellular biology where I, I think I found a home. What really intrigued me is what makes a cancer cell different and how can we address that? My role right now is focused on the discovery of antibody drug conjugates and new cancer immunology medicines. The teams that I work with are really looking at the new ideas, trying to come up with things that we think can improve therapies for cancer patients down the road. Antibody drug conjugates are typically a combined drug consisting of a monoclonal antibody and a cytotoxic drug. In the body, monoclonal antibodies search for their corresponding target bind to the cell, and the cytotoxic drug destroys that cell. ADCs can allow for extended duration of exposure to cytotoxic drugs compared to traditional chemotherapy and can improve how much of it gets to the tumor. So they're designed to improve the tolerability of cancer-killing agents and lead to better treatment options for patients. One of the key features of ADCs is its ability to target the tumor um, more specifically than a chemotherapy, uh, whereas the ADCs are going to accumulate more of the drug in the tumor than other tissues. And so it's really a targeted approach for delivery of chemotherapy. When I was in medical school, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer and caring for her really made me understand how much we needed to evolve our treatments and evolve our care of patients. My interests have focused on two major areas. One is development of new therapeutics to treat breast cancer. And second is management of side effects and understanding side effects. As our understanding of the biology and the mechanism that drives cancer growth has increased, our approach to treating cancer is also changing. ADCs are really a revolution in delivery of chemotherapy. While we are very attracted to the idea of how ADCs work, like all cancer drugs, they're, they're not perfect. Each patient is different. Each patient's cancer is unique. One of the key challenges is understanding why some patients respond to these technologies and others don't. And so we need to continue to collect clinical data to help us better predict how the next generation of therapies might work. That is the code we have to crack. The field of cancer biology is moving ahead very quickly as we have new technologies. We also are evolving our ways of understanding side effects of cancer therapies and how to best manage them in order to optimize outcome to help patients survive their cancers with the best quality of life. There's so many aspects to uh, creating an ADC that it's both a challenge, but also an opportunity. So much of what we do in early drug discovery fails, and, and it often fails before it ever even gets close to being tested in the clinic. But on those rare occasions where you get to work on something that makes it into a clinical study, and then you see 
that it's helping people, it's amazing. It's truly amazing.